Hello again, and welcome back. It's Professor Hendricks, and today I'd like to talk to you about consensus sequences. So, a consensus sequence is essentially a series of characters, but the characters have a code in such that they can refer to multiple other characters. So, let's take a look at that. So, first off, we have IUPAC codes for the nucleotides. And so, in the first column of this table, you have the IUPAC code. And so, for example, the, the the letter R here refers to either A or the letter G, and the letter Y refers to either C or T. And so what's going on here is, is R refers to purine and Y refers to primidine. That sounds a little weird. Why, why the weird choice of uh, which character they use as, as the representative character? But it kind of makes sense because they both start with P, so you can't use P. Purine, the next character is a U, so you can't use U because that's also a nucleotide, an RNA nucleotide. And then the third character is R, and so you basically end up with R and Y to refer to purine and primidine. There's basically no other good choice there. Other, other common letters you might see are W and S for weak and strong. W refers to either A or T, so in other words, uh, nucleotides that have two hydrogen bonds. And S refers to G or C, other, in other words, nucleotides that have three hydrogen bonds, a little bit stronger base pairing. And there's other letters, you know, K and M are also kind of common, G or T or A or C. And then you have these uh, threefold characters. And so in, a, in each of these examples, they refer to excluding the character that precedes them in the alphabet. So B refers to everything except A. So it can be C, G, or T. And D refers to everything except for the letter C. So it can be A, G, or T. And so that's kind of an easy way to remember those. And then lastly, we probably have one of the more common ones, and that is N, referring to any nucleotide or any base. Sometimes I, I remind myself it's N E base. So in other words, N can refer to anything. It's sort of like an all-purpose wildcard character. So it turns out there's a pretty useful way to define these in BioPython. So if I were to enter, say, the Python terminal, and say I had a couple of sequences that were... Um, probably an instance of a motif. So what I might do is I might do from bio.seq import seq. I need the seq object, and I also import motifs. So from bio import motifs. Now we haven't seen the motifs module yet, and I'll come back with another video on motifs uh, next and how to how to use it to define a weight matrix. But today I'm going to just use it to define a consensus sequence. So say I have um, a couple of examples. So Maybe what I might do is I might uh, do motifs, I might create a list, and so my list is going to be, I'll just call it L, but it's essentially a list of the instances of the motif. These are DNA sequences that are defined as instances of the motif, so I might do L.append, and I'll append directly a seek object for some sequence. I'll just do ACT, and then maybe I'll do a C T again, and then maybe I'll do A T T, and then A T T again, and maybe for fun I'll just throw in there a G T T for 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 who knows what. So now I've got my list of seek objects. So this is just a list of ordinary seek objects, DNA seek objects. And so what I want to do is I want to use motifs.create. So I'm going to define a motif as motifs.create. And I'm going to give it L, my list of instances. And then that should be basically it. It created a motif object. Now, I can't really look at the motif object. I can try printing it out, but that's probably not going to do anything. It's just going to tell me uh, the list of the sequences that I input. And so right now, that's, that's basically all it is. So maybe one of the attributes of the motif object is those list of sequences. And that's what get, gets printed when you use it in the printing context. OK, so. Now what I might want to do is I might want to create a consensus sequence. Now a consensus sequence, also called a degenerate consensus sequence, is a DNA sequence that utilizes those special IUPAC codes, these codes right here that we saw in this table. And so in this example, I have C or T in the middle column, and I'm hoping that it's going to define that as a Y. So let's see how, if I, what happens if I do this. So I would do motif.degenerate consensus. And I've encountered a problem. OK, I guess the problem here was the uh, set of parentheses. For whatever reason, it doesn't like those parentheses. So I put the parentheses, it gives an error. 
but if I don't put the parentheses, it returns the degenerate consensus as expected. So, clear my screen, try this again. So we print the motif, we get a list of instances, and if we define degenerate consensus with no parentheses after the, 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 the attribute, we get a new seek object, and I'm gonna call this my pattern. And so, my pattern is a seek object. Now, let's say I wanna be able to search for the occurrence of this pattern in a larger DNA sequence, so I'm gonna define that as DNA, and I'll basically do this, and I'm just gonna put a bunch of these, a bunch of characters, and maybe for good measure, I'm gonna make sure I have some ACTs and a few ATTs in my sequence. And maybe I will also do one in the reverse complement. And if I would do an ACT in the reverse complement, that would be an AGT. And I have a lot of instances now in my DNA sequence. So now, now that I've defined my, my consensus pattern, you, I can also define a sequence, like a DNA sequence, and I wanna, might want to search for it. Now, the way I can do that is with uh, or this function that's part of the SeqUtils module. So what I would do is I would say from bio.sequtils import nt underscore search. Now, the way this works is it's kind of weird, but it doesn't like uh, seek objects as the search string. So what it takes in is it takes in two arguments. It takes in the search string, which in this case is DNA, and then my pattern. But this actually gives an error. So if I try to do this, I get an error because it, it, it expects the DNA for some reason to not be a seek object and to be a string. So what we can do is we can just convert that to a string here. And we get our results. And I'll print the results. And I'll make sure to use parentheses. And I get that there's a position of this motif at 16 and 37. And it also has you know, it prints out the consensus sequence in sort of a regular expressions type format where you have the, the C or T, the Y character represented as a bracketed CT uh, set of characters. And so that's kind of how regular expressions would be defined. Now, you may ask, be asking yourself, why did I bother um, defining um, my pattern as a seek object? Why not just use a string as well? And I, and I think you can possibly use a string as well. But the advantage of doing that is I can reverse complement. And so same with the DNA sequence. Even though I'm converting my DNA sequence to a string, by creating it as a seek object, I'm able to just use the built-in reverse complement functions. So that brings me to my next point. We may want to be able to search for patterns in both the forward and reverse strand. And so there's two ways to search in the reverse strand. One is to search for the forward strand pattern in the reverse complement strand of the DNA sequence. The second is to search for the reverse complement pattern in the forward strand of the DNA sequence. As it turns out, these are essentially the same thing. In this drawing, it kind of illustrates why these are the same thing. So, and it's amazing in a way that this works out with any sort of like off by one, you know, shifting. But if I define pause one as the, as the position of the occurrence of the pattern, and I guess this would be the reverse complement of the pattern searched in the forward strand. So I guess my, my pattern is, uh, I guess the reverse complement of ACT. So in other words, a, G, T, and if I search for the, fo the, the forward strand of the pattern in the reverse complement of the strand, I'd get pause two. And so there's my A, G, T right there. And so, as you can see, if the pattern has some length, length of pattern, if I were to take the length of the sequence that I'm searching, subtract pause two, and then subtract the length of the pattern, I would get pause one. So let's try this out. In other words, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna search the reverse complement of the pattern, and get a list of results. And so I'm gonna call that results underscore RC1 for reverse complement one. And I'm gonna do pattern dot reverse complement. And like that. And then if I print results of underscore RC1, I get it's at positions at six and 34. Now this is again, the reverse complement of the pattern. Now another way I can do this is I can reverse complement the original DNA sequence and so I would do something like this, reverse complement of the original DNA sequence, and I'll jump back to the beginning of the line and define that as RC2. This is the second method for doing so. So this would be correspond to pause two, and I would print results two, results RC2, and I get a different set of positions. So I wanna confirm that these positions match up with the, the other way of doing this, um, but with that transformation that I, that I talked about. So in other words, if I start off with 22, 
a position in pos2, I could do the len of DNA minus 22 minus the len of my pattern. And I should get this 34 right here. And lo and behold, there it is, 34. In other words, I'm basically able to use the two different approaches. Pos1 is searching the reverse complement of the pattern in the forward strain of the DNA, and Pos2 is searching the um, forward strand of the pattern in the reverse complement of the DNA. And I can transform between these two and using this, this diagram and this equation, um, I guess my equation is here. And you can see that how you, how you might go about doing that. So with that, I'll close this video on consensus sequences and I'll see you next time.